is the winter of our discontent, made glorious summer by this son of York. And all the clouds that lowered upon our house in the deep bosom of the ocean buried. Grim-visaged war hath smoothed his wrinkled front, and now, instead of mounting barbed steeds, to fright the souls of fearful adversaries, he capers nimbly in a lady's chamber to the lascivious pleasing of a lute. But I Sportive tricks, nor made to court an amorous looking glass. I that am rudely stamped and want love's majesty. <clears throat> I that am curtailed of this fair proportion, cheated of feature by dissembling nature, deformed, unfinished. Sent before my time into this breathing world, scarce half made up, and that's so lamely and unfashionable that dogs bark at me as I halt by them. Why, I, in this weak and piping time of peace, have no delight to pass away the time. Unless to spy my shadow in the sun and descant on my own deformity. And therefore, since I cannot prove a lover to entertain these fair, well-spoken days, I am determined to prove a villain and hate the idle pleasures of these days. Plots have I laid. Induction's dangerous. To set the king, my brother, and Clarence in deadly hate, the one against the other. And if King Edward be as true and just as I am, subtle, false, and treacherous, then this day should Clarence closely be mewed up about a prophecy which says that G of Edward's heirs, the murderer shall be. I thoughts down to my soul. Here Clarence comes. Brother, 